So I had a lot of trouble fixing this lawnmower, so I decided to make a quick video to help people out. Um, you know, obviously, uh, anybody with half a brain knows that you're going to want to, uh, if your lawnmower is not working, you're going to want to start by checking if it's a spark plug. Um, some people scrape them off, heat them off. Uh, I just replace them. They're super cheap. Uh, one thing I did not know is that uh, just because the spark plug fits, that doesn't mean it's the right one. So you want to bring your existing spark plug into Lowe's or Home Depot. And uh, there's probably about 10 different spark plugs that are all the same size, but they have a different um, uh, spark distance on the end of the plug. So that's the first thing. Second thing is your air filter is in here. Uh, I'm going to assume that most of the lawnmowers have kind of the roughly the same design. This is a Briggs & Stratton. Um, anyway, so... I pulled this off. My air filter was kind of, was pretty clean, so I just sprayed it out with an air compressor. Uh, if you want, you can get a new one. They're fairly cheap. But if you want to identify whether it's the air filter that's the problem or not, uh, just take the air filter completely off and try starting the lawnmower. Because the reason you would need to replace the air filter would be if it's too clogged up with dirt. So if you remove it and start it and it still doesn't start when the lawnmower is co breathing completely uh, without any sort of stoppage or, or filter, if, if it still doesn't start even with the air filter off, then that's not the issue. Like I say, I just blew mine out with an air compressor. Anyway, next step that I took, that didn't fix it, so I drained all the gas. Um, the easy sloppy way would be to put a bucket down and then tilt, and then, uh, tilt your lawnmower over with the gas cap off and just uh, drain it into the bucket. That's the easy sloppy way. The more difficult way would be to uh, get on down here and if this is your gas cap, then this is going to be your fuel tank and then down here you're going to see there's a fuel line that leads to your carburetor. What you can do is you can completely disconnect your air filter and then behind that is going to be uh, one more block, plastic piece that you remove and then behind that there's going to be your carburetor. You can disconnect the fuel line from the carburetor uh, and then you would then go ahead and uh, remove the top of the gas cap and it may not drain immediately just because of the uh, lack of pressure. So uh, this is gonna sound crazy, but what you can do is you can um, position your mouth over this and blow to create pressure. You, you would obviously need to create a seal and then it would force the gas out the line and into the funnel that you've set up uh, behind this fuel line that you've disconnected. Um, anyway, so uh, in addition to that, behind here, you've got your carburetor. The final thing that fixed it for me, because I did a million things, the final things that fixed it for me is I ended up taking the carburetor off behind here. Um, and if you don't know what a carburetor is, um, this is the carburetor. They're all probably going to look somewhat similar. When you get it off, you're going to notice that it has a couple flaps inside it. They call it a butterfly. Anyway, you take it off, and even if it doesn't look that dirty, completely disassemble it. Uh, spray it down with a hose. Some people will tell you you should use gasoline and carb cleaner and all that crap, but the fact is it just needs to be clean. Get all the dirt and gunk out of it and um, and then move on from there. Uh, so basically, my carburetor had um, some dirt in it, and after I cleaned that out, it fixed it up. The only other thing that I did that's noteworthy is since I had the whole thing disassembled, I filled the fuel tank full of water, and then I uh, blew on it, and then out the bottom of the fuel tank, came a little, little bit of residual dirt that was sitting inside there. So I think what happened ultimately to me was I think some dirty fuel got in here, went down through the fuel line, got into the carburetor and gunked it up. And I think it would have just happened again if I didn't clean out both the tank as well as the carburetor. Uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, I know it can be frustrating, but I would say the whole thing probably took me about a half hour provided that you bring out um, your socket set and your uh, screwdrivers. It's, it, all you really need is a hose other than that and some clean gas. Uh, and like I say, start with a spark plug. Um, I don't know how often they really need to be replaced because in my experience, uh, most cars will run forever and ever on the same spark plugs. But anyway, it's, it's just noteworthy. I hope this helps you.